Hi, and welcome to episode 2 in the series on Xcode. Uh, today I'll be talking about frameworks, uh, their role in OS X, how to make them, and how to use them. Uh, for the most part, frameworks are the same as static or dynamic libraries, but just with some added functionality. A framework is, for the most part, just a folder with some data structure that encapsulates shared resources. Uh, one of the neat features of frameworks is that it's uh, call, what's called a, a dynamic shared library. And what this means is that if you have multiple applications that use uh, the same framework, the framework just gets loaded into memory once and all the applications use it from the, the shared uh, locality and memory. This cuts down on the memory footprint quite significantly. Um, and another cool feature is that it has its own versioning system. Now, I don't uh, know too much about it. I haven't delved into it. Uh, but I thought I'd just mention it so that you know. Uh, one of the most important parts about frameworks is the install directory. Uh, we're going to look at public versus private and how that differs. Public is where you store the framework in a public place and private is when you bundle it with the application itself. Uh, what's also important is that you uh, make sure that the resources that you want visible in the framework are set properly. Um, and also if you have a private uh, framework that you need a copy files build phase where you copy the file to uh, the application bundle and also into the correct place. Uh, some of the caveats that you may encounter would be something like the architecture. You need to make uh, explicitly sure that it's the same as what you're linking against. Uh, as I said, the install directory and some of the linking areas that we may run into. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is uh, open up Xcode. And what we're going to do is we're going to create an empty project. And I'm going to call it AVS Math. All right, and then in targets, I want you to say add new target. And go to Cocoa and select framework. I'm going to call this AVS Math again. Uh, what I want you to do is go to the build, and this is fairly important. Go to architecture, as we spoke before. I want you to uh, select 32 64 bit uh, universal. I want you to scroll down then to installation directory. As you can see, this currently puts it in a public library uh, frameworks folder. Um, this is set up uh, to do a public framework uh, version, but what we're going to do is make it private and copy it into the application bundle. Uh, what you're going to type in there is at executable underscore path and just say enter. Uh, you can also untick uh, skip install uh, or check uh, skip install. We'll take care of that in the build phase. If you note in the dynamic library install name, it uh, it has sorted that out. Uh, go to other linker flags, and I want you to uh, get rid of that as well. And right at the bottom in the GCC prefix header, get rid of the appkit.h. That, uh, that'll cause you a lot of uh, aggravation. All right, close that. What I'm going to do now is create a group called source. You don't have to do this. I just do it for uh, keeping stuff neat. Uh, you can... What I did beforehand was create some source to cut down on the video time. Um, but the right now is where you're going to put your source of your framework into the video. You can say uh, add existing files, but something easy is just to select the source and drag it over into it. Uh, we're going to copy that into the destination group folder if needed. And I'm going to make sure that it is uh, checked to add to the target. It usually does it pretty well, but just make sure that it puts it in the right areas. Um, if you note here on the headers, you'll see this is just uh, role-centric, uh, project-centric right now. I want you to make both of these uh, public so that you can access them when you link them to an application. And lastly, what I want you to do is make sure that you do have the 32-bit, 64-bit universal architecture selected. Uh, right now, what you can do is build it. Uh, Command B would be a shortcut. As we can see, it was successfully built. And the next uh, part, we will link this uh, into our application and use it. All right, next thing uh, I want you to do is open up Xcode again. Uh, this time we're going to create a new project. Let's just create a C++ project, and we're going to call it test. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a new group, group called Frameworks. As, as I said before, it's not pivotal. I just like doing it for neatness sake. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, add a framework to it then, just say add existing frameworks. It won't be in this list, but uh, fortunately we know where we put it right, so we go AVS build, we just have the debug build, and select it. 
It won't prompt you if you want to copy it in, uh, just because of the nature of frameworks. Um, it's sort of a symlink. Um, what we're going to do then is just make sure that in our executable it is being linked. Um, and as we can see, uh, it is being linked. Uh, next thing um, I'm going to do is show you a small example of what problem you might run into. If we uh, go to this now, this the main source file, and see if we can include the framework, we'll note that it's there. So automatically we think, okay, we're in the clear. It's, uh, it's working. So let's uh, try and create a, a vector quickly. Let's do 5, 10. Let's just cast with these two values as floats. And now we are going to build it. Uh oh, so something went wrong. Cannot access memory at address. So let's open up the debugger. You can do that with Command Shift R. And we can see library not loaded. And it says the path. And the reason is image not found. So it's quite uh, clear on what went wrong. Um, the problem with that is if we look at the folder here and we see that um, in the debug build there is no framework right there. So that's it was looking for there because we told it to and it's not finding it. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click the executable target we're going to say new build phase, new copy files build phase. We're going to say put this in the products directory and then click on frameworks and drag that over to that uh, copy phase. Now if we build it we'll see that now oh, look, it built fine for us. Uh, just to test it out and see if it is working, uh, what I'll do is print out uh, the value of x. And if we open up the debugger, we can see it did give us X. So there we can see, and perhaps I can show you a different link. If we make this as 32 bit only, uh, it actually worked out. I wonder if that's just because we didn't clean it. Whoops. Uh, we did build the universal, so it's working that. But if you do get a linking error where it says, uh, vector was referenced in main and you can't find it. Generally it's because you have different architectures but usually when you select the universal it kinda works itself out. I um, hope this has been helpful. In, the, in a subsequent video I'll uh, do a little video on aggregates and how you can streamline the framework in this application where you just worry about this application if you build this it'll build the, the most recent version of the framework. Um, thank you and see you guys soon. Bye bye.